Of all the added weapons in this patch, the MCX Spear is undoubtedly the most interesting. Even its appearance attracts attention. The minimum anti-threshold to use it is the third loyalty level of Peacekeeper. Only there will regular cartridge open, providing access to magazines with 20 rounds. However, everything else will have to be purchased from the flea market. And that's not cheap. The weapon is intriguing with sky rate of fire. 800 rounds per minute, especially when using a cartridge with significant damage, which is crucial in this patch, as the players don't cover the entire body. Buying the spear from the flea market for a considerable amount, you'll still need to spend more, because the gun is sold without a muzzle device and it costs a lot. Speaking of weapon assembly, you need to install a silencer. You can use any tactical grip, and I recommend not changing the stack, because any other may slightly improve the characteristics, but it's not worth the overpayment. Pistol grip use F1 ST1. In total, if we don't have the Peacekeeper's crown, the weapon will cost us almost half a million. Also, by the way, what's interesting is that the maximum magazine that can be installed is for 25 rounds. As for me, it's a bit strange. However, if you still complete a quest, then for about 200,000 you can buy a fully assembled gun. At the same at the same time, even an optical sight will be included, and you'll also get access to the C hybrid, which has extreme values for both damage and armor penetration. Let's check the recoil of the MCX. Before that, I remind you how important it is for you to subscribe, so that we can see each other again. Out of curiosity, I took a side sight, which creates the impression of higher ergonomics. To test how it feels to shoot in while aiming at it, I tried clicking first and then shooting in bursts to understand how the weapon feels during variable firing. Overall, it's pleasant. After that, I decided to go for a full spray. Yes, the gun leads a bit, but it's acceptable. Let's try holding from the side scope. The visual recoil increased, it's not very comfortable for me. To compare immediately, let's do another spray from the main side. And indeed, shooting like this is much easier. Overall, the recoil is normal. I like playing with it. Let's see how effective this weapon is against different armor types. 4th class armor and 5th class armor. Participants will be the beehive of the 4th class with armored packets, armor with only 4th class plates, or spray with both plates and armored packets, and redoot of the 5th class with plates and armored packets. The first 3 participants flew off with an identical number of hits, but redoot took much more shots, about 10. To understand how significant or insignificant this is, let's try spraying. The first 3 participants flew fly off instantly, but the dude holds a little longer, and I hit the neck. Thanks Nikita for the new hitboxes! In general, gentlemen, what's the conclusion on this gun? The weapon is obviously powerful, it hits hard and is effective, but using it before the false peacekeeper is reckless due to the obvious inflated price. But after that, it's quite a viable option. Leave your opinion in the comments, like and subscribe. See you next time. Good luck!